Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1398. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about September starting off choppy. Well, I expect that choppiness to continue with a little bit of a bullish bent. The first day of the month, the three major averages finished lower. The Dow was down 1.5%, the S&P 500 down 2.1%, and the NASDAQ slid 3.3%. All year, we've had a very narrow market with the Magnificent 7 garnering most of the gains. And when you look at the 10 largest tech names, they have contributed 59% of the gains this year and 68% of the gains last year. Although the market is broadening out into mid caps and small caps, technology still remains the favorite. September historically has been a weak month and averages about a negative 2% return. And with the market being so strong in August, other than the early tangle in August in the Japanese carry trade, this year's been a strong performer with the market being up seven out of eight months. But this September, we know the Fed is meeting September 18th, and we expect to hear news of what their decision is on a rate cut. I believe there will be a rate cut. The question is, is it a quarter percent or a half a percent cut? Already, we had activity in U.S. factories slower than expected in August, according to the Institute for Supply Management, which reported yesterday that manufacturing came in at 47.2% for the month, up 0.4 percentage points from the July reading, but below the Dow Jones consensus forecast of 47.9%. This gauge measures the percentage of companies reporting expansion, and anything below 50% represents contraction. So at 47.2%, we're definitely in contraction mode for manufacturing. Elsewhere in the survey, the employment index moved up slightly, but was still in pullback territory at 46%. Measures for new orders and supplier deliveries both fell and inventories moved higher. On the inflation front, the prices index edged higher to 54%. So that weakness in manufacturing should play into the Fed's decision in likely a positive way. It's better to show weakness right now, which would justify a rate cut, rather than showing too much strength, which might make the Fed think twice. This is a short week with the Labor Day holiday, but there is key data that's coming out this week. Today, the July Durable Goods Orders and Fed Beige Book will come out. On Thursday, the ADP Payrolls Report for August will be reported. And on Friday, the August U.S. Jobs Report numbers will be distributed. And again, all of that key data is going to play into the Fed's decision about interest rates. On the home front, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage is at 7.056%. So although interest rates have come down some in anticipation of the Fed's rate cut, that's not a tremendous amount when we're talking about 30-year mortgages. And as I reported in a couple of podcasts ago, people are taking a wait-and-see attitude. They're waiting for interest rates to trend lower before they see to making an offer on a home. So we're seeing the housing market in a bit of a holding pattern right now. Once we get through the September 18th Fed meeting and decision on interest rates, then all eyes are going to be pretty much on the election. Should any of the data that comes in this week be dramatically less positive than expected, we could have more of an argument for that half a percent interest rate cut. And definitely this manufacturing report issued yesterday definitely lends weight to weakness in the economy and a half a percent interest rate cut. So we'll continue to follow this and report back to you. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. 
Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.